If you have skin, you're gonna wanna watch this next segment. If you don't, watch it anyway. You're gonna wanna see what you're missing. We're in a state-of-the-art science lab. And what are we about to make? A new vitamin, rocket fuel made out of apples, or a computer code to stop the targeted ads on my social media because, well, I bought too many shoes last month. Oh no, we're about to make something that everybody in the world uses almost daily, moisturizer. And the chemist behind the cream is Jane Suey. I've always loved skincare and makeup growing up, and I loved chemistry as a subject, so I thought, why not combine the two? I chose to specialize in skincare because it's something that everyone uses, and I find it really interesting, and I'm super passionate about it. Today, I'm meeting with Jane at her lab in Los Angeles, California, to learn how scientists like her keep our skin healthy and beautiful. You are a cosmetic scientist, right? Yes, that's right. So what does that even mean? A cosmetic scientist is a scientist that formulates anything skincare, makeup, or hair care related to make sure that it's safe and efficacious. Efficacious? Yes. Efficacious means that it delivers results in a given amount of time. So what kind of products have you created? Serums, moisturizers, body lotions, shampoos, conditioners, hand oh, wow. sanitizers. Really? A lot of things that you use on a daily basis that you might not think about. Jane works her magic in this laboratory, where today she's showing me how to make a face moisturizer. I feel like a real cosmetic scientist. <laughs> You're about to be one today. <laughs> Why does the skin need moisturizer? So our skin epidermis has five layers, and the outermost layer is called the stratum corneum. And when the skin's dry, the stratum corneum lifts a little bit and promotes transepidermal water loss. We use a moisturizer to lay that stratum corneum down so that we don't lose that much moisture in our skin. What goes into the moisturizer? So we're looking at all the ingredients that we'll be using, some humectants, some emollients, and your emulsifier. Humectants, emollients, and emulsifiers. Say that five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> Humolients, emollients, and emulsifiers. Emulsifiers. Say, emulsifiers, okay. Humectants. Humectants. Emollients. Emollients. And some emulsifiers. And emulsifiers. All right. The first step to making lotion is the water phase, which uses water and water-soluble ingredients. A humectant is an ingredient that helps draw moisture to the skin. Isopental dial is a emollient and it helps the spreadability of the formula. This ingredient is a gelling agent and it helps stabilize the emulsion so it doesn't fall apart over time. These ingredients are mixed and added to the water. While the water phase ingredients heat up, we begin weighing ingredients for our oil phase, like our emulsifier, which helps bind the oil and water together. We also add another emollient, which helps the lotion dry down smooth. Finally, we add some vitamin C. Vitamin C is really great for cell turnover, skin brightening, and evening out the skin tone. What is cell turnover? Your body has a natural process of replacing old skin cells with new skin cells. After adding some plant extract, another humectant, and one more emollient, we heat up both phases to 80 degrees Celsius and combine them into one beaker. Our lotion is moved over to the homogenizer where it's mixed at a really high speed. Next, we add some final ingredients, including one of the most important, a preservative. Since this moisturizer has a water phase, there can be mold or bacteria growth, so we don't want that. Um, yeah, definitely <laughs> do not. To finish, Jane looks for lumps on this drawdown chart, checks the pH level to ensure it won't irritate the skin, and uses a viscometer to check its thickness. Since the lotion is exactly where we want it to be, it's time for my favorite part. Are you ready to try it on your skin? Yes, absolutely. And you can feel for texture and let me know if it dries down nicely or if there's anything that you would adjust. Okay. Actually, I needed that. Oh, yeah. yeah, my hands are dry, I needed <laughs> me that. Me too. <laughs> that feels great. Thanks. <laughs> well, you made it, so hope you like. Can I take some of this home with me? Absolutely, and I have some prepared for you and through the magic of TV, Oh, wow. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna take one or two of these. And, you know, maybe some of these. You know, I've got five sisters, so I'm just gonna take them all. All right, well, see you, Fig. Another satisfied customer. Good job, Jane. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe, and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.